One of the pertinent things what we have seen uh, in cognizant analytics is that uh, we have led to a structure which is far more broad-based uh, in terms of representing uh, all the industry verticals uh, as far as the consumption of analytics is concerned. And uh, one of the feature or the secret sauce of Cognizant has been how they've actually verticalized and how they've been so close in terms of being uh, aware of the nuances of the industries, the organization. And that's where we have uh, leveraged the whole <clears throat> power of Cognizant in terms of uh, analytics become very pervasive, very, very uh, visible to the organizations across uh, industries. And um, as we see, uh, I mean, in terms of solving the complex business challenges of the industries through analytics, data science, we believe uh, this practice, this whole uh, set of, uh, I would say, unit has a far more cascading effect in cognizant in terms of uh, bringing more business transformations, bringing more business benefits, and also realizing a lot of what we say by product values for the client in terms of how we can augment their top line influence their uh, client models and also look at how we can accentuate their overall customer experience. As we see uh, to your last question uh, and in terms of the uh, next three to five years, I think one of the uh, very, I would say, pertinent aspect is the digital. Uh, we believe that digital will influence a lot of analytics usage and that's where the streaming up or infusion of data science will come in. So we're putting a lot of focus and a lot of emphasis in terms of how data science will influence the next wave of digital. And that's where the whole, uh, I would say, piece of our being equipped with more large team of data scientists will come into the feature. Of course, the focus will be more on consulting-led solutions, frameworks, how data science can influence change of uh, industry behavior and overall customer journey. So that's how we have planned uh, for us in the next few years. Thanks, Amit. And my next question is, you know, what do you think are the key challenges? You know, give me th top three challenges for you uh, as cognizant leader, not as an industry perspective. You know, industry has challenges like lack of manpower, customer not understanding pieces, the industry not maturing as much. But from your perspective, towards the goal that you are planning to have in the next five to ten years, what are the top three key challenges that you face? So I think uh, this is a very uh, interesting question because I think one of the things what we are working is, of course, to augment the whole conversation with our clients uh, where we're not specifically looking at a certain business challenge to get solved. It's also about how do we raise the overall experience, the whole model in terms of what client is looking to kind of augment the whole uh, experience by virtue of uh, using analytics. So that's the first level, which is like more engaging conversation with the clients and how to get the whole piece around uh, this uh, data analytics and the whole journey of data science going in terms of more broader usage and consumption. The second, I think, challenge uh, what we see and we are also trying to work is this whole piece around how do we engage the talent in a meaningful way where they're not only master of data and master of technology, but they're master of businesses as well. Uh, we've always talked about this whole uh, business expertise, SME, and the piece around learning the nuances, but it's not easy. So what we are trying to kind of work around is a kind of a let's say an approach where they flip from one business to another, one industry to another, and make themselves more acclimatized and fungible in terms of how to solve those problems agnostic of the industries. And the third, which is the whole piece around is it's a challenge, but I think it's a challenge which is linked to Cognizant and to the industry is like, what is the next level? The client in terms of the conversations are saying, okay, look, I have a money to spend. I have a budget to spend, but I know deep learning. I know artificial intelligence, but that's a technology piece. So the next level digital is still very premature. Clients are thinking whether to do or not to do. So there is a cusp, there is an inflection point, and that's where the challenge of not putting in the money comes in or not opening up the share of wallet comes in. And one of the way I think which we have to do as an industry and within Cognizant we are trying to work is that whole advocacy piece, the whole piece around thought leadership, that how analytics, data science and digital can influence the overall nature of the industries. And I think clients are looking today to open up more discussions that, okay, come, sit with us and change our model and then we will see what we can do as part of opening up the whole 
I would say, piece around the dollar spend and the money spend. So I think that's one of the challenge which we are trying to work in terms of how best we can spread that thought of advocacy, analytics, and the digital around that. You know, and this would be my last question, kind of a last question. You know, from an industry perspective, uh, what do you think are, we had a panel discussion on key trends in analytics, but per you, you know, what are, where is the industry moving? What are, according to you, key trends in the whole industry? So I think first of all, it's it's uh, heartening to see Basket you bringing the whole industry experts uh, into one platform. This is something which uh, I think we really need because outside of NASCOM and other industry associations, we need thought leaders uh, like you to come out with, uh, I would say, those platforms. So that's that's I think one good thing. But I think uh, to your point, what is important today is uh, what we see. Look, we all know where analytics can be serviced, can be consumed, where it can be led in terms of more topical infusions of techniques, uh, platforms and solutions. I think one of the piece out here which is relevant is that I think swiftly we have to change the game and move more towards assets, IP creation, more towards where clients are able to relate when we sell analytics. Because I think there is so much of... I would say haziness today, okay, I can do this, I can uh, I mean, build those models, but that's not something which clients would love to know. I think it's more about a plug-and-play situation. It's about when industry gets mature, the assets and IP creation with a very seamless blend of innovation and thought leadership has to come in. And I think industry is looking towards that, that look, analytics has been there for 15 years, but if we really talk about how many analytics-led products, IP, innovations have happened, it's very few, very scant. And I think that's where one of the industry, I would say, pivot would be how fast we move that. And second, of course, is the talent. We always look at how do we accentuate the whole talent piece in terms of supply. So I think as an industry, we need to come to that. Third, which is the last <clears throat> important piece is, till date, we don't have analytics framework. We talk about an SDLC cycle in technology, but there is no common structured framework within analytics, which is giving a bit of concerns to the consuming industries that look, where is that particular framework which can be a robust and absolutely foolproof? Okay, thanks. And you know, closing comments, what do you think about the event? You know, what? I think it's, it's a fantastic uh, platform, uh, Bhaskar, and I think I must uh, appreciate your willingness, and I'm sure there are a lot of efforts which have gone into this. And I think if I see this event has got three uh, facets and which are very important to what I say, uh, whet the appetite of any potential analytics professional as well as the one who's been part of the industry. One is, of course, you're bringing the industry experts, giving a feel that, look, it's one industry, one fraternity, and let's come absorb and kind of learn, unlearn each other. The second, with all these kind of uh, breakout niche sessions, uh, one of the feature of event, what I would say, standing is that how people are able to relate to deep learning, artificial intelligence, and how they see this thing getting a part of the seamless analytics. And I think that's one good thing worthy of the event. The third thing is, of course, with the networking. I've seen so much of, I would say, idea generation and thought sharing, which is really good for us, where we usually don't do that. So that's one thing which is very good. So I really appreciate you bringing to this particular platform. Thanks so much. Thanks.